All right, guys, it is a cold, wet, rainy, thundery, lightningy night, and I don't care because the family video is open again. I missed you bigger family video sign. I missed you glass block obelisk. I missed you free kids movie sign. I missed you Brent 3 get one free sign. I missed you 24 hour Dropbox. I missed you titles and rug as I enter the store. I missed you new release placards. I missed you new release magazine. I missed you multicolored shapes on the floor. I missed you camo family video bag. I missed you tons of DVDs and Blu-rays for sale. I missed you family video movie man. I missed you giant foam multicolored kids sign. I missed you the haunted pumpkin of Sleepy Hollow. I might have to get it. I missed you pink camo bag. Batman bag. White Wolverine bag. Wait, it looks like he is. Things got a hold of it. I missed you new releases. I missed you must see movies. I missed you multicolored kids table. Oh, that looks fun. I missed you free movie rental gumballs. I missed you Hawaiian Punch, Dr. Pepper, Rainbow Cotton Candy. I missed you secret passage to the hidden adult room. I missed you family video chair. I missed you giant sour patch kids. I missed you yellow M&M man. And I missed you too, red M&M man. I missed you sweet game room. I missed you video games. Wait, I don't run video games. I missed you Marilyn. I missed you Pops Movie Butter Popcorn. I missed you tons of candy and treats. I missed you Sweet Tarts, Runts, and Sour Dudes. I missed you Ramona and Beezus. I missed you Popcorn Shakers. I missed you Hot Mama. I missed you Tasty Ice Cream Treats. I missed you Stranger Things DVD that looks like a VHS box. I missed you selection of over 10,000 DVDs, Blu-rays, 4K, and video games! Okay guys, let's find a video before I actually get kicked out of here. See, if I had the kids tonight, I might get onward. But I think I'll save that till the girls come over. I don't even know if I've heard of this one. Jim Carrey Kitty. Oh, that's the season thing. Okay, never mind. I don't know if I showed you guys this one before in the videos, but I saw this and it was really good. And it's really long, but that was a really good show. All right, this one, I don't know. I don't think I really have any interest in seeing this because everything is like computer animated, I think. I don't know. Harrison Ford's acting has kind of gone downhill too, so. The commercial was just on for this one. Now I can't get the songs out of my head. Okay, Birds of Prey. The only thing that really makes me interested in seeing this is that the artwork on this is so cool. Look at that green. Other than that, meh. I want something fun. Like, I'm not really in the mood for something that's scary or really action or anything. I just I want something fun tonight. Ant-Man and Wasp might actually be pretty good. I love Paul Rudd. Hmm. Might think about that one. Okay, check this out, guys. I'm driving the bee, and I have still never seen Bumblebee. A dog's way home. Hmm, I do like the popster friends. I thought I just saw a movie like that right over here. The same basic thing. Yeah. Look, A Dog's Journey. I don't know if that's like the same basic storyline. It looks exactly the same though. <laughs> Picking up where A Dog's Purpose left off. So we have A Dog's Purpose, A Dog's Journey, A Dog's Way Home. People like dogs. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Adventures in Babysitting is super fun. That is definitely one that I might get. I like getting the older videos because you know they're going to be good. Like you find these movies that you love, you know they're good, and you can watch them over and over and over. Back to the Future 2 and 3. There's one that I think I want to look for here. If I can think of the name of it. It's a fun one. 
All right, let's see. Family fun favorites. Wait a minute. Indiana Jones. Where is it? Temple of Doom. Favorite one ever. I don't know. Actually, it's a toss-up between Temple of Doom and not Last Crusade. Where is it? Raiders. I didn't even see Raiders. I think it, Temple of Doom would win anyway. It's just such a fun movie. Okay, let's go over here. Starts with an R. That's TV series. It's actually probably going to be in kids' movies, but let's look over here for a second. P Q R. Are you over here? <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, yeah, let's go check the kids' movies over here. And these are the free kids' movies. I don't know, I, I kind of don't think it's going to be in here. Rugrats. Oh, you got to love the Rugrats. Look, Roly Poly Oly. Okay, let's see. Stay on point. R. No, it's not there. Okay, we got some more R's over here. Where are you? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I am not finding it. I think I'm going to have to ask. Unfortunately, I have not found uh, Road to El Dorado. Although, I mean, I do have it at home, but that's just how I am. Ooh, look, we got Big here. $5.99 for Big. Actually, I think I have that one too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have not seen this one forever. Harry and the Hendersons. Holy crap. Hmm. I'm thinking about that one. Look here, guys. I haven't seen this one in a long time either. The Witches of Eastwick. That is a really good one, although it is not family-friendly, so I don't recommend it if you have kids. Okay, now this one might be kind of fun. Detective Pikachu. I have not seen this one yet. Okay, yeah. Detective Pikachu it is. Pixels is one that every time I see it, I want to buy it, even though I already own it. I think I have it on DVD and Blu-ray. My kids were actually just making fun of me the other night because I bought, um, Finding Nemo on 4K. And still, I get excited to see if they have it for rent. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. It's just something that's fun about coming out to rent videos. You know, you get to look at the whole selection and pick out awesome stuff. And, uh, I mean, even if you have it, it's just, it's fun anyway. It's just the, uh, the experience. Here's Moana. Alright, guys, we got it. Detective Pikachu. Let's go get uh, what we need to make our snacks. I don't know if we're going to make a shirt tonight or not, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so I went to the Walmart. I grabbed a bunch of things that we're going to need to make our snack and a t-shirt here. So the first thing that I got is uh, jalapeno peppers sliced. I got some taco seasoning mix. I got some gourmet nacho by Rico's. Uh, what is this? Cheddar cheese sauce in a can. I got two pounds of Hamburglar, and I got, I got some chips because we are going to make nachos, but there's a twist to this one. I also got chicarones, pork skins, fried pork skins we're going to use in place of those nacho chips because these have no carbs. I can have these and I can't have the nacho chips. I also got an orange t-shirt because orange is one of the colors in the family video. And I was actually going to do an iron-on logo of family video, but then I saw these letters. These are iron-on letters, and I really liked them. Look at the style of these letters. They're multicolored. They're like for a kid's shirt, but look at that. I love that. So we're just going to make a t-shirt. We're going to put something on it. I don't know what it's going to say yet, but uh, but we're going to use the cool multicolored kid letters. Okay, guys, so on this t-shirt, I decided just to spell simply, it's Saturday night, because that fits the whole theme, and I kind of like how it looked when I started putting these letters together. Cool thing with these letters is that you don't have to have them perfect. I mean, I'm literally just taking them and setting them on here, and however they fall is how it's going to be because they're supposed to look like uh, kids' letters anyway. So hold on, I'll show you here. So basically, this is how it's going to look right here. I just kind of set them down. It's kind of mix-match in there, and uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So we're going to put a piece of parchment paper down on this. You don't always have to, but I think it kind of protects the shirt a little bit better instead of just putting a hot iron on there and you might burn the shirt. Generally, this calls for you to hold on there for about 30 seconds. So we're just going to kind of wing it. 
move it around here and let those letters melt onto the shirt good. I'm getting excited. Let those cool for a minute, then we'll peel them off. And there it is. It's Saturday night. Hold on while I change my shirt, I'll be right back. Who's ready to cook? Okay guys, so now we're gonna make these nachos. Now usually I would use an onion with nachos, but I don't know, for some reason I'm not really in the mood for an onion tonight. However, I do love me some jalapeno, so we're definitely using those. Like I said before, we got the nacho sauce, we got taco seasoning, uh, a couple pounds of hamburger here, and we're gonna use the fried pork skins in place of the actual nacho chips. I can't say I'm in the mood for these things either. However, all this other stuff should totally drown out the, the actual taste of these. So they should be pretty delicious when we're done. I'm sure you've seen a billion times hamburger being ground and browned. So I'm not going to make you watch that. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. So the burger is finishing up right now. Now we're going to take our plate here. We're going to put some pork skins on. A little bit of gourmet nacho. And sometimes I will heat this stuff up to put it on, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I think that our meat is gonna be pretty spicy. So I'm just gonna put this on right out of the can. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's just room temperature. Some sliced jalapenos. And here's our meat we're gonna put on right now. All right, guys, there they are. Look at those things. That looks so delicious right now. All right, I have got to have a taste of one of these things. I'm going to get one with a whole gob of meat and cheese and a jalapeno right on top. Look at that thing. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, aside from the fact that there is a totally different texture to the uh, the pork skins, I mean, it's delicious. Yes, real chips would be better, but I mean, these things flooded with all this stuff. Oh, look at that. It's so delicious. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't get over how good those things are. And I also can't get over how stupid I am because I'm about to drink a bang to cool it down. And it's like 11 o'clock at night. <sighs> yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to sit down and munch on these and watch Pikachu. And I'll see you guys next Saturday.